Okay, so my name's Vaughan, I'm 39 years old uh, and I'm just about to leave the army after 24 years service um, and was undecided what to do for my next career. Always had a passion for, for cooking and food and everything sort of pertaining to that um, and thought that I'd like to pursue that as a, as a next career. I decided to select this, um, this course in particular because it gave me the opportunity if I wanted to follow on and become a proper chef to have this qualification and not just sort of say I did a three week course somewhere. And Ashburton's got a particularly good reputation and um, looked very welcoming so I thought give this one a go. Um, so I've got quite a lot of a background in cooking. I got my first job with a catering company when I was 15. Um, waitressing but we also had to do some kind of behind the scenes um, building plates and doing mise en place. Um, and then just from there continued to work in kind of the catering industry, mostly as a waitress, but I would always be happy to kind of step into the kitchen if, if I needed. The main thing was it was accredited, and also I wanted to get a qualification, and the thing is, you could have went to college for a couple of years, but as we all know, a lot can happen in my life in a couple of years, and then this is six weeks of, of intense training, and then you get a certificate which is, you know, accredited by the body, but the CTH was a, a massive, a massive factor for me. So I chose the school, I, I looked online at a lot of different courses um, and the, the school just seemed like a really lovely place um, and the course itself, um, the six week time frame was a brilliant draw because it was long enough to actually feel like you would take something away from it but still short enough that you know, you, could, you can take six weeks out of your life, whereas for me, I don't think I could have taken six months right now to kind of, to come and do a course. Yeah, from, from the onset, you know, a nice, friendly sort of atmosphere when you walk through the door at reception, um, through to, you know, through to the kitchens. Um, you know, everything's laid out in a nice, nice way, a nice learning environment um, with, with good interactive facilities. No, it's, fa it's fantastic, it really was good. I expected it to be challenging, and it, it did challenge me, it really pushed me, particularly um, with the sort of pressure side of it, which obviously cooking at home, you sort of take your time. <laughs> but um, it was brilliant. I really had no idea what to expect from the course. Um, so I don't really know what my expectations were, but whatever expectations I did have, it's just literally exceeded them. I just feel like I've learned so, so much. I think um, all of the chef tutors have lots of different experience that has, has been gathered over the years that they've been in the industry um, with lots of different things they're bringing to the party and passing on to us um, you know, through, throughout their experiences in restaurants and in the colleges that they've worked in. Um, you know, the, the local produce and their passion for the, the local people that produce that po um, produce, um, you know, they, they, they were good, they're a wealth of knowledge. Yeah, I've learned so, so much in, in just the knowledge the chefs have about everything from the produce, from the farms to when it's in the plate. They're just, they're amazing, Do you know, the knowledge that they have and they're just brilliant. Can't praise them enough. Um, the, the tutors have all been just incredible. They all have their, their different styles of teaching and their different areas of expertise and it was so great every week to kind of be with someone new and have their take on stuff and they're just they're just a wealth of information and talent and I mean you know for, for anyone who's aspiring to be in the industry they're just such a fantastic inspiration and and so willing to share their knowledge. Oh I love them, <laughs> they're brilliant. Each of them they just sort of made you feel so relaxed and and welcome and um, if you had any questions whatsoever you could just approach them and um, yeah it was brilliant. You know that you're using fresh ingredients when the chefs come in in the morning and they say, actually, we couldn't, we couldn't get what was promised, but we've got you know, something that's either even better or you know, we got to do goujons with lemon sole because we couldn't get any place. So it's just, yeah, it's really fantastic. What I found really good, what I found was just the, the how pure they were. Like we had crabs come in one day and they were like straight from the water, basically, and everything was like that. I even had a stamp on it of some sort, a label 
to see it was caught today at this time, whatever, it was almost like a receipt. Uh, so I found that quite amazing. Oh, they were, they were lovely. Um, all sort of locally sourced, which is always a sort of bonus. And just the quality of them and the meat was just beautiful. It was really sort of a pleasure to work with. You know, this is just cemented the, you know, the fact that I want to pursue this as a career. Um, being amongst like-minded people has given me the confidence and having spoken to people that are on the course that work in the industry already um, and you sort of match yourself against them as well and knowing that actually you know you can do it um, you've just got to go out there and grasp it and, and take it forward. So my next or my ultimate plan is to open my own uh, place. I want to open somewhere um, which is mainly daytime, um, but just cook real hearty food as opposed to just paninis and horrible lunch things. Um, and I just feel so much more inspired now that I could create a menu and, and have somewhere. I just, I feel so much, I feel ready to go and open my own place, which is amazing. <laughs> I, I know I don't want to go into professional kitchen because I just don't think I could sort of do all of the pressure, constant pressure. But I'd quite like to do sort of dinner parties and that sort of thing, really. Um, but not into a professional kitchen. Yeah, I thought about the idea of a, a tea room coffee shop or a, a, a type of delicatessen that, that does like lunches and you know teas and coffees and, and those sort of things. So that, that's what I'm looking at. Um, that would be my sort of first option. But there are several other things that I've got in mind. But they're the ones that I want to really pursue and, and sort of endeavour to, to achieve. Because it's always worth trying out things which you think you're interested in for a career before you actually commit and you're sort of locked into it. And doing this as well, you've got skills for life anyway. I think in my mind before I started the course, it was going to make my mind up whether this was what I really wanted to do and actually having been in the environment and amongst people that are like-minded with the chef tutors, it's really decided in my mind and, and forged that you know, opinion of, that I want to do this as a, as a career. I feel so inspired after, uh, after finishing the course, I'm so sad. Uh, I just want to stay here and cook forever, but I definitely feel like I want to go home and use all the skills that we've been given, which we may only use, have used kind of for one or two dishes, we've now got that skill set which we can just build on and use for so many different things. Mm -hmm.